Hi, this is just a quick video on using wired electrodes with the um, Zimmer Peacock electroanalytical cell. So the electroanalytical cell has a lid that can be screwed on it. It actually has a holder that it sits in. So I'm just going to take the lid off and talk about some wired, using wired or wire electrodes with it. So here I have a 25mm wire electrode. You can effectively poke that through the top and then that will dip down into the liquid. I feel that 25mm is a little too short to realistically use with this cell. So I've got a couple of other sizes with it. So I'll go for a 50mm. So as soon as you go for a 50mm, 50 mil, sorry, it's not 50 mil, I mean 50 millimeters. As soon as you take a 50 millimeter wire, that is plenty of length. So that's, that's now plenty of length to actually get into that, into that cell. So 50 millimeters is great. 25 I feel is just a little too short really. And then, yeah, if you can get um, 75 millimeters, then that's perfect. So in summary, this is the electroanalytical cell from Zimmer Peacock. I just wanted to try out three lengths of wire um, through the lid. Because uh, I imagine people are making their own working electrode and they're kind of dipping it or doing something to it. And that working electrode might be a wire of some description, be a platinum or gold. 25 millimeters, a little too short. 50 millimeters, yeah. Perfect. 75 millimeters more than enough. The total internal height of this cell is actually 50 millimeters, so that's why the kind of numbers make sense. But by the time you've screwed this lid on, 25 millimeters just feels a little too short to um, make. It'll just about touch the surface of the liquid as long as you um, fill it right up. And the total volume is about 450 mils, but yeah, realistically, I think 50 millimeters is better. Okay, thanks very much.